Yeah. Salam alaikum salam alaikum. Eh. So la fako ngalia kamera gani hii ama hii? So okay. Ah uh, karibuni sana uh, for yet another episode of Tuchapiane. Leo niko hapa na makoches. Eh? Makoches. Kwa <laughs> cheka lili bala. Eh? Coach mambo vipi? Yaani ni coach, mimi ni mchezaji. Wewe ni coach saa hii, coach wa mind. <laughs> So any coach your mind? Akuna noma. Eh. So tuko hapa na Yuji na Sike, Captain Vipi. Tasca FC na Kamdu, Captain Madhari United. Tuanzie wapi? Che tuanze na Kamdu. Na zanza na mpia yote bana. Salimia watu buda. Sawa. <laughs> okay, kwa majina kamili ni Kevin Kimani, uh, player for Madhari United and I'm glad to be here. Thank awesome. Yeah. Mwezama ni kizungu? Ni kizungu tunaingiza kila kitu. Ala. <laughs> Eh uh, I go by the name of Eugene Asike. I play for Task FC. Thanks for having me. Tuchapiane leo. Mbaya, leo tuko base eh leo tuko ndani ya gym vile mnaona. Kwa sababu majamaa wazee wamekuwa kinifanyia mambo hapa bude wamenifinya. Eh. So nakuwa nawaambia hiyo story ya majamaa but eh, kabla tuanze naona hapa Nyesti Des Dunga Mata anasema theine theine. Eh, Sheri Nangai amekatuma tika hapo. Jaboma Mikalo present. Gusa George tuko ndani LD. Hamjamaliza kukula lunch na guest wako. Eh? Lunch ile nakuja hapa ni moto. So, leo short naifanya live on location and I'm privileged to be amongst uh, some of the best talents we have in this country, Eugene Asike and Kevin Kimani. So, kabla tuanze, um, nilikuwa nataka kuna watu wangu wengine wa hapo Samiti, watu wangu wa Dubai, watu wangu wa Qatar, walikuwa wameniambia ni watumie aka link. Naweza watumia aka link kama mko na pressure? Ah, uh, unaweza watumia. Ni watumie aka link chap chap, si ndio? Yeah. So, wacha ni watumie hapa ka link. Kuna jamaa anaitwa Jose. Jose, Jose unajua Jose? Si Jose Were, Jose Jose Obo. Jose Obo. Jose Obo. Jose Obo trainer makanjo. Akuangia hata kwa Facebook uchali, lakini tutamfukua. <laughs> Haina noma. So, uh, just quickly eh, nataka tu utupeleke you've had a very colorful career, Kim. Uh, undoubtedly uh, one of the most talented midfielders we've, we've produced in this country. So nataka tu kidogo ina snapshot. Unajua unajua snapshot? Si Snapchat. Kwagi <laughs> huko. <laughs> <laughs> so nataka tu tupeleke utupeleke na rada kidogo ulianzia karia yako wapi? Ni teams ngapi umecheza? Kidogo tu maybe for like 2 minutes kabla tuende kwa Sike. Okay, asante. Uh, okay, kari yangu I think ilianzia KCB, that's a professional mm -hmm. uh, Kenya Commercial uh, Bank uh, football club. And uh, from there I moved on to Mathare United. Mm -hmm. uh, from Mathare United I moved to Belgium. And, uh, but uh, unfortunately, I had an uh, agent wangu alikuwa, alikuwa kidogo na jinambaya, so reputation, na sikuwa najua, unaona. Mm. So, kabla nijue what is happening na, vile, na nipate language, nijue vile kunaenda, mm. unapata ukienda kwa team, ama ile team huko, mm. unapata pia jina yako na mbaya. Because mm. uh, agent alikuwa somehow corrupt mm. na... Alikuwa na, alikuwa na, na, na cases mingi sana eh? mm. kwa makarao wapi so sikuwa najua mm -hmm. so but I uh, was fortunate ku also kuambiwa mm -hmm. na one of my friends Ayub Timbe that uh, the guy alikuwa na jina yake siyo mbaya so I had to 
ni ile had to part ways na huo jamaa unaona mm. so alikuwa ni jamaa kutoka wapi ni Belgium tu oh, Belgium yeah, Belgium ah. yeah. mm. but repetition yake ilikuwa mbaya sana mm. yeah, in terms of uh, na kusema tu character yake na behavior so mm. uh, it was the, the same person mwenye alipeleka Mugabe na bado Ayub Tosh mm. so mm. uh, before nijue mm. since sema ilikuwa too late cuz life lazima iendelee life must yeah, go you know, yeah. so mm. So kutoka hapo nikaenda Greece, uh, nikaenda Germany had a nilikuwa na a good deal mm. but unfortunately then we agent alikuja karibu because mm-hmm. alikuja kwa picha mm. akisema mimi mchezaji wake but already kwa tumesha part ways so hiyo mm-hmm. deal tena ikaribika but mm-hmm. uh, so far mimi nasema as long as you know what you're doing and what you want unajua hakuna <laughs> kitu naweza kusimamisha true so kutoka Greece ndio nika nika come back Kenya mm. eh, nika sign for for Tasca mm. which uh, tulikuwa na two good seasons na Eugene mm. yeah so after hapo nikatoka nikaenda Warabuni mm. na sign merudi Warabuni wapi exactly I was in uh, Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia Habibi hata English yola Arabia so um hiyo uh, ni snap uh, snapshot uh, kuna kuna watu wengi sana yujo wanauliza maswali hapa wanauliza tukiongea wajo jamaa passport ana nne ashajaz passport 4 4 zile za six, za diploma ama zile zetu zizenyu hizo zetu za 32 ama 36 ine ashajaz au jamaa ai bora uko na pakie kwa hivyo eh <laughs> pakie iko kwa bali so yuje kuna watu wanauliza yeah. maswali kuna watu walikuwa na kiatu uliza kiatu ingine hapo mahali kuna picha ingine ulipiga picha ya kista ulikuwa umepiga kiatu kingine hapo wanauliza hiyo kiatu iko wapi ngolova eh vangolova so yujo hey. hebu tupeleke na rada karia kidogo kidogo hivi uh, mimi pia nilianza okay acha nianze sema nilianza city stars yeah. mm. but hapo um, nilicheza tu game moja mm-hmm. after hapo nika move kcb mm-hmm. Just stars nilikuwa bado chuo so mm. nilikuwa na, naenda chuo nikaenda ball mazoezi so nilikuwa tu bado naingia kwa hii industry ya ball mm. after hapo nika move nikaenda KCB mm-hmm. Leonard Sale alini sign mm. juu tulikuwa na yeye under 20 your time national team mm. uh, nikakuwa na 3 to 4 season if i'm not wrong hapo nika move nikaenda sofa paka mm. uh, sofa paka tukava good season tukashinda go tv after hapo Tasca came calling mm. nika move nika sign Tasca 2015 coach Kimanzi mm. ndo ni sign Tasca mm-hmm. uh, pia hapo tuka have a good uh, 2016 season tukashinda mm. double mm. uh, na kumbuka go tv na league mm. after hapo but before ni move uh, ni kwa sofa park mm. kuna time nilikuwa na short stint uh, SA bit versus with 3 months ilikuwa short stint Mm. after hapo ndo nikakam nika join sofa paka juzi juzi ndo pia nikatoka nikaenda Zambia mm. uh, nilikuwa nimeenda kwa negotiation talks na Kabwe Warriors Kabwe Warriors yeah, Kabwe Warriors but right. uh, offer walikuwa wananipea it wasn't good enough like me who believe as a as a as a as a, as a player ukienda kwa foreign country let the contract be worth it true no no yeah. so nika i turn down the same time niko huko pia nkana wakaniambia okay tunaweza have talks na wewe mm. the same thing nilikuwa nimeenda hapo but contracts again haiko poa so mm. nika nikasema ah let me come back home you know so nika rudi nika join tasca nika mm-hmm. join tasca yep good stuff yeah. despite of all that movement in and out of the country bado yani nyinyi wagamkia na club mnasainiwa definitely it's uh, because of the talent that you have kuna jamaa hapa anasema joseph joseph okala anasema kcb moto pasi graduates alafu dickson gitai anasema kelvin kimani my mentor and inspiration eh hey, buda una inspire watu wengi pia mimi sinipatie hiyo inspiration buda ramini unijenge bana <laughs> Umesema hiyo nywele yako ndio trademark ama inakuwaje? Utakuweka dread nini buda? Uh, dread wezi, hii ni trademark tu na imekuwa hivyo for the last I think 14 13 years. So. Mm. 14 years ujenywa. I don't shave ya. Yeah. Aupigangi ile ya madem hivi unaanza kupiga ah uh, nywele safi. <laughs> <laughs> Mashampu. <laughs> Hapo sawa. So uh, kuna kuna Jamal kwa mentuma ni wasalimie anaitwa Joseph Okal anasema vijana wangu hao two former KCB players 
Mnammezea? Yeah. Yeah. Okal mnammezea eh? Manager. Oh, TM. Yeah. Alikuwa TM eh? Yeah. So, uh, moving on quickly kabla tukuje kwa personal stuff na lifestyle yenu. Yujo we ni mtu unapiga galuku, tutaongelea juu ya luku ah, pia hapo baadaye. Baadaye pia kima hapa apiga. Kuna luku na kuna luku ah, ile. <laughs> luku luku. <laughs> luku luka. Eh? Uh-huh. So kuna kuna issue ya ya players uh, contracts zimekuwa terminated nilikuwa nataka tugusie kidogo. Um, the, the other day was it OFC wali terminate contract I think ya 12 players ama ilikuwa ni 9. So nyinyi ni captains wa two of the biggest clubs in Kenya what do you have to say about that was it justified ama lazima tuende tena kwa sheria tuone ni kwa nini walikuwa terminated uh, well well mimi ningesema mm. uh, we cannot uh, conclude anything at first eh mm. Na tukiongelea uh, tukiongelea sorry tukiongelea tukiongelea wazito pia I think on the same breath to pia cuz pia Nairobi Stima pia the same thing has happened on the other side okay. uh, sponsors wao which is Kenya Power pia wamejidondoa so team may have ku kutaminate contracts za players what would you have to say that and do you think Kefwa should also issue a statement with regards to the same uh, well i think nikianza na story ya wazito eh mm. nimesema we cannot conclude anything yeah mm. because uh, uh, we are n- we are not well informed about the situation in Wazito, mm. so it can be maybe a mutual agreement with the players, mm. or maybe contract is going to say, Ma, if you don't perform, mm. then we can terminate your contract, mm. or maybe they are on the wrong. So, kwangu mimi si juu kabisa, but if wame wakona mutual contract, uh, mutual contract na wachezaji, mm. wale wame wazin wame wame act, eh? mm. then kwangu ni it's okay, that's football, mm. no, no, but. Mm kama ni eh, kama ni eh, imefanywa in, in an eh, illegal way yeah. then uh, kefo has to come in mm. but again kienda kwa issue ya kefo mm. i think kefo hakuna kitu amekuwa kifanya mm. and uh, for me it's a pity hata kuwa hapa kuongelea kefo cuz uh, hakuna impact yoyote ameleta kwa, kwa 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 current situation vile iko sasa hii mm. unajua mm. eh, wachezaji wako huko na safa kefo ndo they should be the voice of the players right now yeah. But wako wapi? Mm. Kila KF wako underground. Uh, we don't know what they are doing. Uh, Hiyo ni organization ya wachezaji. Yeah. Unajua? Mm. Bila wachezaji KF hakuna. True. So if KF cannot come out na wa try to to solve uh, certain uh, situations ama ta wa, waeke press briefing tujue vile mambo inaendelea. Mm. Uh, wachezaji wote kugiza. Kweli. Unajua atujui mm. kama ligi inaendelea. Mm. Atujui wachezaji wako aje, wachezaji walipwi. Yeah. Unaona? So mm kwangu ni ni, ni ni a dark moment for Kenyan football mm. na i think uh, we, sisi kama wachezaji nafaa tufanye kitu yes and uh, mm. nikiingia kwa mambo ya ya, ya stima mm. uh, well this is a parastatal and uh, and nafikiri if the sponsorship is not there mm. then k- club is run so kwangu there is nothing that we can do mm-hmm. yeah uh, um, kapi i mean um, Mimi na support Kim kwa hizo mm. vitu amesema cuz uh, me I believe uh, Kenyan Kenyan players like it's a it's high time mm. Kenyan players want to do professionally no 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 just most of the clubs sorry to say mm. most of the clubs who believe want to fanya see players favor mm. uh, it's, uh, that's not the case me ujua it's a win win situation me as a player naenda kwa field mm. i do my job i give you the points the office pays me my salary when i expect to be paid but mm. most teams unaenda huko unapata ni kama wanakufanyia big favor unaona mm. so mm. so for me nita support Kim na pia mimi I'll, I'll, I'll talk about Kefwa yeah for the last 3 months mm. or so tumekuwa na hii mambo ya corona mm. uh, i haven't seen them out there speaking out and saying about how players will be paid how they are supporting the players miss jaona kitu kama hiyo and i and i guess how ndo wanafa ku represent the players so kama mm. si players tukikuwa na grievances who will you go to na ndo wanajita hapo ndo wana to represent but so far they haven't done much mm. yeah so there's a call out to come out and talk and about the situation right now yeah, yeah kama ni watu prove basi mm. watu prove wrong there is something they are doing no no mm. but so far miss jaona mm. and i like to call them out cuz kuna play, kuna so many players are suffering out here so yeah. ni sugar kuna chini mgonjwa 
wajalipwa players mm. players wengine wame terminate some players contract na terminate while down injuries mm. no, so mm. lazima tukue na na plans are how will we gonna how we gonna support these players awesome yeah Niko na lawyer wangu mwingine anaitwa Chutsi jamaa Mumias anaitwa Gamwene Shialo jamaa wa Tasca mbaya anasema wachezaji wa Tasca wakikuja show wanakaa safi wale wa timu zingine tunaosha tunaoshondana tunashindana nao wacha tu Buda maluka hapa mmepiga luka tayari eh <laughs> Ala mambo yake. Speaking of uh, speaking of Chutsi, kuna kuna post fulani aliyeka jana kwa Facebook, alikuwa anasema history will be kind to these boys. Alikuwa ameka picha ya Tasca, hiyo squad I think you are part of that squad uh, both yeah. of you. Mm -hmm. Anasema history will be kind to these boys. It will pamper them with praises of achievements. Collectively it will acknowledge them as one of the greatest outfits not only to have been assembled in Ruaraka but in the entire country. These boys attained a feat that will forever be Hey, anakuagana kizungu etched ama ni act in annals of Kenyan football history did the double double hail the tasker hiyo kikosi yenu achievement zilikuwa ni gani mlishinda nini uh, kwa zama wapi amewanyunyizia sifa sana hapa ni kama nyinyi ndio watu wa kwanza kushinda kiti yote hapa Kenya hapana <laughs> mimi believe hiyo ndio time akisema ya uh, Tasca I think nilikuwa nishatoka nilikuwa niko Saudi Arabia so mm. you jondo alikuwa huko okay yeah but amja uh, amjacheza pamoja tumecheza pamoja 20 2014 2015 yeah 2014 2015 tumecheza na had a good team tukashinda go tv yeah na go tv so yeah we had a good team i think uh, one of the best so far mm. and uh, it was a pity that hatukushinda ligi mm. yeah David Omore anasema ni kuuliza hii swali Eugene anasema what is your relationship with Kalekwa <laughs> <laughs> Umele umepiga kale kalaf ka Ngoja kwanza si nijibu hiyo swali ulikomuuliza Oh unataka kuongeza au sawa Nataka ku, kusema hivi um hiyo team ya 2015 ndo twende tushinde 2016 mm. pia tunafaa kupea credit uh, Francis Kimanzi mm. aliassemble Yes um, the coach who came to win to win the double was mm. coach um, Nkata mm. that was in 2016 but uh, in 2015 all those players were kwa hapo mm. Kimanzi alikuwa sha yeye ndo alikuwa to assemble ni so aki, aki, aki toka, mm. team ilikuwa sha gel then of course Nkata pia played a big part mm but naweza nilikuwa tu nataka it was important for me to very important yeah true ya credit yende kwa kila mtu kabisa no. kabisa bro sasa niulize so ni diplomatic <laughs> jamaa mnasikia ah ni mapleya wanacheza KPL lakini ile kizungu anapiga hapa si mchezo unajua eh, kuna kuaga na myth ya kwamba eh, Kenyan footballers are not polished in terms of eh, awezi ji express awezi mm. ongea kilami wanasema si yani lugha yetu tu ni ya kimtaa una get but nasikia mnapiga rusungu hapa si mchezo bana <laughs> relationship yako na Kalekwa Um naweza sema relationship yangu na Kalekwa I don't have a, I, I'm not salty about uh, anything that happened at uh, Sopapaka mm. Yes kuna time ilikuwa all, all, all over the media that uh, nimepeleka Sopapaka kotini and all that mm. but um, I had to do that Cause in fact uh, while, while still at it eh, yeah. cuz alikuwa ameniuliza a double question but yeah. i think it 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 inakuja ina 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 ingia mahali cuz his other question was that when you signed your contract palace of apaka yeah. did you involve any agent at he, uh, he used his position lawyer firm to intimidate mm. father the ceo mpaka he was paid if true why did why so and share with other players who were demanding their dues kitu kama hiyo so sijui swali yake ni ipi haswa but i think kulikuwa na hiyo moment hapo no, sofa paka no follow to the right uh, the mm. right procedures mm. uh, uh, three months siko nimelipwa na sofa paka mm. and you can uh, going by the fifa rules mm. if you go for three months without getting paid you have the right to terminate your contract so that's what i basically did mm. nika uh, nikaenda kotini mm -hmm tribunal ya sports tribunal uh, that time jako guda alikuwa shai form akasema no i have to 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 
bring my case to the uh, sports tribunal yeah. as in to kwa kotini ya kawaida so that's what i did uh, with my lawyer elvis majani tuka tuka tukaenda huko tuka 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 whatever tuka hold your session huko mm. uh, nikashinda case mm. whereby nilionekana yes Mm. I've, I'm a free agent. I'm, I'm free to leave because I haven't been paid for three months. And, yeah. uh, and I did. Well, the reason also I decided to go all that way is that because most players up in Joko are intimidated, and most presidents or team. Mm. No, no. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it's your right. It's your right to go and seek for, for, for the right, whatever. True. So. Uh, nikasema let me let me do this i you know acha ni ni call you all the names by the end of the day other players will benefit from this True. and, and uh, after after i won my case mm. uh there was a case uh, if you can remember uh, this track ochomo at mm. moroni yeah also the same thing akashinda the case mm. so i felt good at the end of the day yes yeah. i i was out of football for six months fighting for that because mm. Walisema oh the case ikiendelea window ikafungwa mm. so once i won the case i couldn't sign mm. so your case will go for so long mm. paka window ikafungwa nini mm. but at the end of the day nsema let me sacrifice this mm. to see football change in kenya for yeah. players to be treated better yeah so i decided to do that yeah yeah i adding adding kwa hiyo ya eugene i think it's high time unajua uh, as in industry ya ball ya Kenya inafaa ku mature enough unajua mm. cuz uh, if imagine a scenario where you play ball 8 years mm. umeenda moroni ama umeenda ile club maybe you are as in kuna kuwa na partial pay unajua mm. as in kidogo wako na do kidogo wana do mm. so unapata 6 months ujalipwa 6 months umekaa nje mm. at the end of your career unapata mm. umecheza professional football ya Kenya 8 years mm. lakini umelipwa 4 ama 3 umelipwa maybe 5 years Mm. So three three years is made into waste. True. And then nakujiona sema atu wachezaji wa invest. Wachezaji wana invest aje. Mm. Mchezaji na invest aje na mekami yaka ni zitatu kwanza jamu lipa. Mm. Ata jipanga aje. Always jipanga. Well, siyezi siyezi chukua yuko kama eh, ati ati njia ya kusema wachezaji wanafa wajipanga wakilipo ndoto jipanga. Kuna lulemtaza kuna lulemtaza jata jipanga. But mm. mm. pati yamtu pesa yake jipanga. Mm. Aspo jipanga ni shida. Yeah, okay. Ushaona? Mm. Cuz huyu jamaa asha work. Mm. So kama amewa kumlipe kabisa. Unajua? Na sure. kuna siku mchezaji na believer atakaa nje for one month, mm. aseme a train alafu hiyo mwezi next month alipwe. Mm. Hiyo ni ngumu sana. Yeah, yeah so True. Uh, it's high time uh, Kenyan football na fai change manzi. Mm. Unajua? Mm. Lipa mchezaji ile kitu amechezea. If mm. you cannot run a team ama team kama hizi run smoothly, then kwa nini team iko hapo? Watu wana suffer manzi. Mm. Unajua? So True. Kama tuwezi run team na, 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 na vile procedure imewekwa. Mm. Then hakuna haja team irana. Vile tukuna team kumi. True. Na watu, na watu nalipo vile profession. True. So, True. Yeah. Uh, kuna ndugu yangu fulani hapo anatuochi kutoka Dubai. Anasema karamoja anaitua saluda. Santos saluda. Chali mwingine anakuwa gana panganga sana. Anasema karamoja bram. Next time tafuta meza. Ndanunua ya kueka hapo bana. Maji kwa flow haji. Buda tumepigwa hapa tushapigwa kaboma hapa bata hiyo gym. Tuko kwa gym wewe saluda unasikia. We are in the gym kwa gym tuna work under natural uh kizungu circumstances. Naje karibu zeme natural mystic. Ama conditions, ama conditions. So uh kuna mtu anaitwa Nelson Vani Mendez ameniambia nikuulize what is your relationship uh with cargo of Posta Rangers besides football? Kago, mutu mufupi. Ah, uh, well, uh, relationship yetu mekua for long, eh. Mm. And uh, I think, uh, see what I think, he's a brother to me, eh. Mm. So outside football, we do things together. We do business together. Mm. And uh, we also, uh, uh, beside football, we have families. So uh, we take care of our family together. And uh, of our families, akona family, akona family. So ni mambo tu inji ball, unajua. So we are very close friends. Awesome. Yep. You'll be telling us about uh, some of the projects you're doing uh, together pamoja. But uh, just in case you've tuned in, uh, leo tunafanya tuchapiane live from the location na tukondani ya gym. I gym, wale waliniona three months ago, maazeni likuwa nakakama yokozuna. 
but nikakuwa introduced kwa hii gym inaitwa AV Fitness iko located uh, um, in Lovington na wamenipatia wamenipatia a very good deal um, on my show especially for this season 3 uh, and this will be will be beneficial to uh, most KPL players NSL anyone who is uh, playing in the Kenyan league iko ni NSL lower leagues mpaka hata Madiv 2 kuchini uh, normally bei hapa inakuwa hata mimi siezi afford it's, it's very expensive to come and train here but they they've given me an offer where it's like a partnership between Tuchapiane mm-hmm. and the gym whereby watakuwa nanipatia ni kama bure so i'll be nominating some players will be picking nice. some players who who i really in need of gym because gym is a very integral part of any sportsman sure. so tutakuwa as we progress kuna deal flani wamenipatia but we still need to sit down and see how it will be beneficial to the players so that they also come and train here maybe at subsidized fees or uh, kama kuna watu wana show na wanaweza wanaweza lipia mchezaji unajua anakuja na train na vitu kama hizo so tuko evi fitness uh, watu wale wanataka kutupiga usororaji za kuja mtupige usororaji baadaye si saizi so anytime feel free pop in come here train tuko na coaches hapa na muita coaches watu wengine wanamuita mama du siku hizi amepiga ah. kadai kim pia ni coaches yeah kim pia ni coaches kim pia anatupelekaga hapa mbio sana on thursdays <laughs> so niko na majama fit sana so these are some of the people who are responsible of how i look now najua na kafiti bana hata msiposema najua mmasikia gavi card sign team eh? sign team ya naingia homeboys yeah. <laughs> maraudi nasikia wako na shida hapo kwa shimo eh wewe ndio unapea ala ah, na pass na wachilia tu unajua tukimbi shida wapi eh shida wapi shida ya nini wako na shida wapi kwa shimo <laughs> <laughs> unajua ukisema kwa shimo lazima ufanye hivi eh. <laughs> yujo eh wewe ni mchezaji wa KPL mm. Luku pia unapiga tofauti. Luku unapiga Kiitaliano, Black Italian. Dinga pia unapiga ah, unaendesha V8. Rada. Ah, buda lazima utuambie bana. Ah, eh? uwezi endelea solo bana. Rada ni gani? Rada gani? KPL wanalipa hivi fiti. <laughs> ah, bana uja mane endesha V8. Wewe buniambie wewe uko tizi kama mimi for example niko pale kwa galo nimetembea nimetrek kutoka ngara nimeingia gikomba nikaingia city stadium alafu yujua anakuja na V8 ndio professionalism bana ah uh, kima ashamaliza eh. wewe nataka niongeze ila noma ila noma tafika tu hapo basi za tufanyaje ni kweli ni kweli team z na fazi juu unajua eh, because what yeah. you are basically saying is that our players are not treated as stars because level yetu iko chini sana so that yani it's it's it's, it's high time players wetu wa Kenya hata ukiingia mazoezi au fai kuingia kwa ma3 na fan ule anakuja kukuona ako kwa Mercedes kuna so, kuna song kuna song fulani na Zizi alimbaga akisema superstar kwa ma3 ma fans kwa bima mm-hmm. so uja mata kurespectaje that's why i'm uh, going back to what i answered before players must want to be more professional Mm. Yeah, angalia for example, angalia ligi ya Tanzania. Wame set the standard high. Mm. No, no. Mm. Why can we not do that? True. Yeah. And and we Kenya, we are more developed country. So but, but but just as much as you've asked why can we not do that? Do you have the answer to it? It it, it all starts with the management. Uh-huh. Then boils down to players. So management if mean- if 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 we can put our offices in order mm. then things will run smoothly. When you say offices in order because yeah. unajua stack iko a gray area. Yeah. What is it that we are not doing locally? When a captain wa Tasca FC for example. Yeah. How do you motivate? Because unajua motivation inatoka kwa coach, mm-hmm. inaingia kwa okay inatoka kwa technical bench, inaingia kwa playing unit <coughs> through the captain. Yeah. How do you motivate your teammates to play mm. when things are not sorted? When umekuja grau unacheza na mtu labda haja sosis kutatu. Utacheza utakompitaje? You cannot have the same level of competitiveness na mtu kama huyo. So what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Yes. Ama unataka hiyo swali tutupe huko kwa comment. <laughs> Watujibu. Hapa <laughs> mimi nita stick tu na kitu nimekuambia mm. like I believe kuna kuna grounds au utumu wa nini? Hizi doors zote zina kam, eh? Tunapata tu sit down <laughs> na tupange vile tuta tumia hii dog hadi kwa NSL Premier League NSL hizo vitu ziko organized juu mm. i believe tukiputa house in order na inaanza huko juu kwa management hata si technical bench mm. 
ma president wote wa KPL mm. clubs nini mm. wa meet tu eke tu league inaweza run wa more professional than sai mm. sorry to say me i wasn't happy naenda game napata walk over kweli unataka kucheza yeah. fight fiki hapo like kama ni league tunataka tusonge mbele mm. siku za walk over zilisha kweli Sama kabisa kweli, yeah. mm. Mm. kweli. Yeah. fali fali anasema fali tm wa bandari yeah anasema asiki akiwa mdogo alikuwa anaitwa Amanaka ni pat gani ya game ya game yake anaona ilifanya aitu hivyo manjumu nini ah, ili, ili kwa niyo. <laughs> shoes, shoes mbaya <laughs> ulikuwa na open shoes graphic <laughs> shoes wewe mwenyewe ulikuwa unajua anaitwa Amanaka ni jina tu nilianza kupewa kwanza Amanaka mwenyewe mm. legend nilimwona nilimwona acheza tu once nadhani mm. uh, juni kwa bado mdogo mm. but nadhani nilipa hiyo nickname juu ya yo kucheza kiatu but <laughs> bado unafungua shoes sasa hii ah uh, sasa zingine inabidi sasa ukipaya mtu kama Kim Kim lakini unaweza mfungulia shoes za kuacha hapo hapo kwa kwa vumbi slippery midfielder Kim mm-hmm. kuna mtu best yangu fulani anaitwa Karoro Karoro anasema there's a way wote ni brand kivyao team ikianza kuyumba yumba wao uondokea na wakosi team hata nje kwanza Kim agent wako ni nani Well, uh, kabla tunde kwa swali yake ningependa kuuguzia hiyo story ya Yujo kidogo eh? mm. what we need to do yeah. i think we need to start from from somewhere unajua mm. uh, jenga kila atuwezi jenga stadiums tulipe wachezaji mm. tufanye ligi yetu ikuwe kubwa at the same time mm. but what, we need to put value kwa wachezaji una get mm. value ni nini value ni do ukieka value kwa wachezaji ma fans watakamgrau unajua mm then after to make a value mm. then tunaweza tengeza viwanja ushaona mm. but sisi we are ni kama tuko kila mahali mm. unajua mm. eh, tuko kwa do kidogo tuko kwa uwanja kidogo mm. unajua atulipi wachezaji kidogo tunawalipa kidogo so at the end of the day unapata imekuwa ni norm kwa mchezaji mm. story ya motivation unapata kama mchezaji na sisi wenye sisi ndio tunajimotivate yeah i get mm sab unapata kuna mchezaji anaka hivi mm. ajui kitu kingine yeah it's all about football true unaona and it's supposed to pay it's your bills to pay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, kama kama club imeamua kuchukua hii way ama kama individual amekuchukua way ya, ku, ya kuweka club mm. anafaa kufanya hiyo club yake kama ni salary inafika on time kila kitu inafika on time unapata sengine kuna excuse ya that you are not winning games mm. come on my teams nalipwa wachezaji wanalipwa millions in, in, in a week's time na bado wanafungwa na relegation. Hizo timu unashisikia team Europe ati imekata kulipa kwa sababu walifungwa. Zi. So lazima tukiwe more professional, unajua? Mm. Invest kwa wachezaji and then matunda itakaa, mshaona. Mm. Mm. Ukiinvest kwa mchezaji mmoja atatoka mm. ataenda. Mm. At least tunasema kuna kitu umefanya. Mm. But tumeweka tu wachezaji hapo you not investing kwa wachezaji. Yeah. Mchezaji anamaliza. Kwa sasa I'm very sure sasa hii mm. kabla covid ishe mm. kuna wachezaji wao watatu wataretire. Mm kwa zitafika mahali mtu aone hata hii kitu nafanya inanipatia do do kushinda vile bola nipatia do mm. sasa hii kuna wachezaji wameka 4 5 months wajaili hapo true wengi sana na clubs watu wako silent unajua mm. kefu iko silent mm. hakuna mtu anaongea mm. watu wako silent then kukifunguliwa wachezaji warudi how is supposed to come back ujalipa rent unajua mm. eh, eh, mtu labda una dish au una fare kwenda tv mm unapa kurudi aje football is mental mm. if you are not uh, mentally prepared ndio tunataka kufanya unataka kuniambia mtazaji anataka kuperform mm. that's why unapata level yetu inafika mahali ina, kama inarudi chini true yeah sisi ndo material yetu tuna feedback na national team and you are not taken care of na wale tukitoka ukiwa national team unaenda kupatana na mtu mwenye za euro mtu mwenye shida yake kubwa si pesa shida yake kubwa si family shida yake kubwa ni kuta perform mm. so as much as unajua unajua ball kuna element tu moja wa mtazaji wa injia atakushinda nayo na that's why utashindaga eh tunaenda tunafungwa eh tunaenda tunafungwa mm. so ikozi ya nini mm. atuje invest kwa mchezaji mm. we need to invest kwa wachezaji kabisa yeah kabisa hey, if i can chip in yeah. Yeah, grassroots ni important mm. the time ni kwa hapo sweden like academies teams zote zina academies yani gra- yani huo mtu yana grow up mm. akijua vile culture league iko culture team kila mm. kitu unaona mm. so pia to invest kwa grassroots hizi teams za mtaa nini hivyo ndo naona league yetu ita improve pia improve, to invest eh? kwa grassroots pia yeah. mm. yeah.
kulikuwa na hiyo swali swali ya karoro mm-hmm. kusu hiyo movement bado nyi wendaga pali mnaenda mnachukuliwa tu despite the talent there must be people who normally advise you on some of these moves nani ukushika mkono nani agent wako if 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 we were to ask directly yeah uh, well uh... I think also positioning yourself ni kitu ya maana unajua mm. <laughs> una position yourself where by mm. uh, team team ki come in calling unajua mm. at least we will have something to to bargain for kwa table unajua mm. wewe siko wewe striker team na come calling unajua kwa sababu ana striker then stats zako zinasema kwa game 30 umefunga bao mbili na striker ni mabao na striker ni mabao unajua mm. ama wewe ni midfielder you don't assist you don't do anything mm. so hata ukika kwa meza ukisema una bargain eh bargaining power yako itakuwa kidogo sana kabisa ama you just have to go na ile kitu umekuwekea kwa meza mm. and uh, again uh, uh, saa hii ningesema uh, niko na agent moja anaitwa Nico Klassen mm. uh, he's from Belgium mm. uh, tumework na for some time mm. so yeye uh, ndo ana initiate hizi vitu zote mm-hmm. yeah so he's a good guy na ako ameka kwa industry pia sana mm-hmm. yeah Ronaldo Koth anasema professionalism takes time. Hata sisi wachezaji lazima tuanze kujibeba kama mapro as much as shida ni mingi. Tukionyesha tuko mbaya, tukionyesha tuko mbaya hapa nje, pia watu hawata tuchukua serious. Alafu tu avoid vichochoro, mahali pia uh, unaonekana kila saa bana. So I think basically anajaribu kusema pia lazima pia wewe ujibebe pia kama brand so that hata kama mambo yako yendi fit kwa grao wewe pia unaweza kuwa na hustles zako zile pia zinaingiza do of which mtu um, kama uh, Ronald ye mwenye pia ye sikuizi pia anaona pia anafanya mambo anajibranda kwa na camp yake uh, Arrow Sports which brings me now to the next part of the interview What are you guys doing with your life right now as I've said show ikianza mtukao wewe yujo wewe unakuja hapa si train na wewe hapa wewe as in y- you're like a fitness coach to me yeah. na i've learned a lot with the uh, time kidogo tumekuwa naye kwa gym kuna vitu vingine unajaribu kuniambia nifanye lakini unajua date of birth date of birth yeah, yani mimi ni mwenyewe naona nataka ku stretch yeah, yeah, maum, <laughs> naona yenyewe imefika maumbile maumbile inafika <laughs> lakini haifiki so hii story ya, 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 ya fitness coaching na vitu yeah. kama is, is it something that you want to pursue as an individual maybe um, later on uh, in, in your career um, what i can say is that um, at the moment uh, i'm studying a course on fitness science uh, i'll be sitting for my exams in september so your time ni coming up pia kima and said younger uh, to, to keep a plan program it's something I'm, I'm i'm reading then i'm coming to do it practically you know and mm. implement practically. oh so we're going to use it as a magini pig this is my example but i'm not saying you can say you can say you can say you can say Shape up. Yeah, uh-huh. so um, it's something after life after football yeah. it's something i'll like to do yeah good so, stuff yeah kim kim Ah uh, well mimi nisha mali. Kim kwanza ulitoa wapi hiyo jina yako hiyo Kamdu? Ah uh, Kamdu ilikuja na funny wewe. Eh mm. uh, tulikuwa madhari kuna ule modo ule mwingine kapi. Uh-huh. Modo coaches wa uh, 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 FC uh, 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 so mhm eh uh, alikuwa uh, coach alikuwa kimanzia alikuwa kita ya jina Kim sisi wote tuna. Oh. Uh, so saa nyingine anasema Kim huku Kim anajipata amenda kwa midfielder. Eh. Uh. Kama anasema Kim huku anajipata amenda kwa defender. Eh. Uh. So ikabidi ah uh, kwa sababu huu ni Kim na ni as in physically ni big mm. oh, yeah, ikabidi aye utakuwa utamwita mdu na ile mm. kashika hivyo kakashika kashika mm. hiyo uh, story ya fitness um, well uh, nimefanya mm. say this is my tangu nipate hiyo diploma ya personal trainer ya PT mm. ya mm. uh, nilifanya through ACE American Council of Exercise na nikamaliza so right now I'm certified even ku ku personal trainer mm and uh, i'll be finishing my group training that's a gt mm. uh, uh, in the next maybe two months mm. so i'm still going on mm. na at the same time i'm doing a uh, sports science mm. uh, through the fifa medical forum so yeah okay yep. na ni kitu mnafanya una, unafanya collectively na some friends ama you're just doing it on your own yeah kama hii fifa we are doing with cargo so mm. pia yako ako enrolled mm and uh, so far so good mm. i think uh, uh, next early next year will be tutakuwa tuna tunamaliza hiyo program ya diploma yep mm. yeah okay 
Um, kuna mtu aliniambia nikuulize swali uh, we all know that uh, ukona you have a sibling who, all, who also plays for the Kenya national team uh, volleyball yep. Janet sio mm -hmm. who inspired who ama ilikuwa tu ni by default I think kuna that... time wapi ushaijaribu ku spike nini buda <laughs> nimecheza by the way eh? nimecheza mimi like height mimi nimelelewa kwa kambi eh eh akili ni mingi eh mimi nimelelewa kwa kambi eh? eh so kuna wao coach the former national volleyball coach uh, mm. for women and men mm. alikuwa anaitwa Juma Waluku so mm. ndo alianzisha volleyball huko mm. so with time watu wakaanza get, get interested pia mimi nikakuwa interested mm. so nilishika kawanja mkono one time nikamwambia ai mm. hebu twende ujaribu hii game so mm. uh, na kutokea hapo nilikakuwa mm. uh, but initially my father was a sportsman mm. uh, amecheza hockey amecheza ball and uh, he was at, at some time alikuwa coach wa national team ya hockey so mm. yeah okay he, ina, inatembea kwa family it runs in the family yep. na wanja sasa yako wapi wanja yuko but you still pipeline but uh, right now ako watamu mm. yep uh, watamu ni wapi bana unajua mimi mtu wa samiti eh hey, boss bana <laughs> Watamu <laughs> Mombasa. Oh, safi, si maji safi ya huko ni maji ya Rivera Nyando. Okay. So um nataka nataka tukuje kwa challenges uh, zenyu kama captains um, because most of the time unaweza pata labda so many players uh, nimewaleta kwa show to do interviews with them, ask them about their problems zile wana face uh, both kwa kwa club ama national team level na unapata sasa zingine inakuwa ni ngumu kuji kujieleza because of course of obvious reasons yeah. what are some of the challenges you you, you faced as a, as a as a team captain as a team captain um mm. <laughs> ah my friend <laughs> all right uh -huh. as a um, captain mimi as a uh nimekuwa task a captain mm. but, uh, kwa management sija get any challenges from them cuz mm. uh, wa, wamekuwa na run vitu smoothly buda kuna kitu imeletwa hapo sasa hii ndio inaitwa we katongo katongo ndio ile siku ama buda mmesema tupige tu <laughs> tupige sembe so lo solo zamiti tu sembe ara mocha ah buda itabidi itabidi tunawe mkono kwanza tuendelee tu Tuendelee show hey, tukipiga sembe ama mimi sitakuongelea food iko hapa concentration zaina Kim wenda nao kwanza alafu yujua atakufuata alafu tu ah, lazima tupige buda lazima tudeme bala <laughs> eh yeah, lazima tu set eh uh -huh. so so nilikuwa nasema um uja mapi pia asumbua sio nataka hii food pia wewe pia wewe cheche na hii nywele yako mbaya wewe pia uko kwa hesabu hii sembe Wendo meleta food. Buda kumbe you love me for real. Iko sawa eh? Challenges zako kama kapi. Thank you so much for the food my brother. God bless you so much. Eh eh tu nawa I'll take it up with the, with Kim. Challenges as a captain. Uh, well uh, challenges ziko eh. Mm. Mop sana unajua. Mm. And uh mimi ningesema mostly kama mimi ni ni ku vile una run team yako sasa ile doa kuna. Mm. Unajua vile una run ama vile una interact na wachezaji wako na wachezaji maana wa fellow teammates ile doa kuna. Mm. Hiyo ndio issue kubwa sana unajua. Mm. Eh inafika mahali mpaka wachezaji mtaji anakupigia simu na kuuliza doi inaingia lini mm. so hata ukija kwa position yangu wewe kama kapi mm. unafaa kuambiwa mchezaji nini mm. wachezaji wana perform eh? mm. results ziko na, na kila kitu mm. but sasa inafika mahali unaulizwa swali kama hiyo mm. so especially kwa timu yenyewe zina zinalipa on and off unajua mm. hii mwezi kuna do next month mshahara anakuja after 45 ama 60 days unajua mm. Mm. Eh, ni challenging sana hata hata vile utaleta 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 wachezaji pamoja unajua mm. yeah so mchezaji ana expect do mwisho wa mwezi mm. inafika tarehe moja, tarehe mbili, tarehe kumi, 15 hakuna mm. do mm. na bado mko na mko na game mm. of course hata mimi nahitaji hiyo do yeah. unajua mm. 
but sengine tunafanya nini it's just for the love of the game unajua mm. na sengine unacheza ndio pia ujiuze kweli you just ikifika tu time ya game put everything aside mm. unaambia wachezaji this is the moment mm. to train for the whole week this yeah. is the moment now tuweke kila mashida zote kando mm. you just focus on the match unajua so you do unajua unajua you can't wait i know yeah. you can't wait to yeah, go fast you, you you continue let me just wash my hands You do mesikia sembe uka uh-huh. ikabidi shughuli isimame kidogo. So, uh, tutaendelea tu tukichukua tuki, tuki lunch hapa. Tulikuwa tukua hiyo story ya challenges eh? Na sijui kama mmeexplore me kabisa ama kuna kitu moja kuna kitu ile mkwa mesau kubonga. Mm. Mm. So, eh, another thing ni ati mm. challenges kwa wachezaji pia na kam. Unajua kuna mchezaji labda anataka kutoka kwa team. Mm labda naona apati time enough ya kucheza mm. so unapata labda huyo mchezaji pia team anataka kum unajua kwa kum, kum drop unajua mm. Mm. so sangine challenges na come whereby you have to sort things mm. una, you lazima ku link man between players and mm. and the management mm. na sometimes not easy unajua mm. na wewe lala pia side moja yeah so sometimes you just have to be wise enough mm. unajua mm. ujue utaambia mchezaji nini na mm. management how will so hiyo issue utaipitisha aje from the player to mm. to, to the, the management, management. yeah mm. so it's never easy mm. uh, but we try and do our best yep um, um you do me challenges na sema nimepitia ni mm. quite different na kim mm. jo uh, a tasker mm. uh, okay they pay they pay uh, they pay monthly mm. uh, to players wa jay and bila kosa salary uh-huh. so mimi naweza sema challenge naweza pitia hapo kama captain it's mm. good pressure ku ni challenge ile ya we need to give results we need to uh, register positive results kwa board yeah, yeah. Uh, so manager kwa hivyo siwezi sema naweza compare na kim because mm. situations ni different mm. but kuna pressure all captains wanapitia whereby mm. coach anaza kuja kuambia hey uh, for the last two weeks mm. this player performance yake may drop try as much as possible when do ngi na player mm. and lift up performance yake because mm. nataka kumtumia so unaweza enda unaweza enda u meet player unamwambia hey uh, indo kitu nimeambiwa na coach nini nini mm. What's happening unaweza pata player za kwambia mimi na ana family issues so yeah. no, no. so yeah. inakuwa tena personal sana so hiyo ndo mimi naweza sema challenge nimepitia yeah. as a captain yeah. um talking of which um, uh, just in case uh, maybe kuna watu wale walikuwa wamejoin wa later um uh, i'm supposed to to be awarding some of the loyal f- uh, fans wa, wa show um wale watu ma top 10 uh, to, to, top nitoga top fans Top wa show. So nilikuwa nimepromise watu merchandise za show na nilikuwa na majina zile ndakuwa na sho, nasoma at the end of the show. Um, so just keep it locked. Uh, uh, nilikuwa na majina already. So five people will be lucky uh, kuna wale ndao wapatia uh, t-shirts wherever you are in the country. I'll send it to you. Back to you Kim. National team umecheza, si ndio? Yep. Umecheza mwaka gani national team na recently nimekuwa na ilikuwa ni Sakafa? Yep, yep. Eh, so stint yako national team imekuwaje? Ah, well. kama wewe ni mtu unafaa kucheza. Wewe yani unafaa kukua ulikuwa kwa ile squad hata ya Afcon basically. Na yeah, well naweza sema yeah, mm. yeah kila opportunity kama hiyo I think is uh, one in a million unajua? Mm. Eh kulingana na situation yetu ya bole ya Kenya opportunity kama hizo zikujangi sana. Mm. Mm. And uh, 
ni join national team i guess 2011 mm. yeah that's when uh, nili nilipata nini yang collab yangu ya kwanza mm. and from there on nika nikaendelea so sengine unapata you're not in the national team mm. not because of the performance mm. but maybe ile team umeenda yeah. ama outside the country unapata maybe performance yako yuko poor cause mm. labda vile mko nakwambia agent labda alikupeleka na excuse me akupeleka mm. na na hesabu vizuri unajua mm, mm, mm. so unapata umeenda una deep wado poa but mm. you're supposed to be regular unajua yeah. so kama utacheza huko nje mm. kwa nini ukija kucheza national team mm. unaona mm. so mm -hmm. it's up to you to show that <laughs> you are worthy mm. yo, 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 yo moment na hiyo time mm. na kama hiyo time imefika na you are not well prepared then mm. being out of the national team mm. eh, yo la, lazima we expect mm. yep yujo Um juzi uh, kikosi imeitwa I think uh, kulikuwa na ilikuwa ni game ya team gani tulikuwa nafakucheza nayo kabla ya covid tulikuwa tukicheza na um, what was the name of this team um island team ya island ya uh, Comoros Comoros mm. yeah. so ulikuwa we tulikuwa mepigwa hiyo call up yeah. have you received other call ups before that yeah i've received several call ups mm. uh, i made my debut in 2012 na mm. kumkavipoa sana mm ah uh, tukicheza na South Africa mm -hmm. nayo ito ilikuwa game ya usiku so mm -hmm. nil make debut hapo uh, against South Africa mm -hmm. um nikatoka hapo uh, the late Henry Michel kama za mkumbuka coach mm -hmm. mm -hmm. tukaenda na Tanzania nikacheza pia huko um, na national team so nimecheza chan so nimekuwa in and out ni recently too in megeti call up after being out for two years so you mm. can imagine so zingine it takes a lot eh? you mm. need to stay focused me wambia killer players as, mm. as much bila tu kimal sema if you know what you want yeah yeah so you just stay patient continue working hard na hiyo ndio kitu nilifanya so recently mm. nikapata a call up tena mm. unfortunately covid ka come in so kabidi to take a break on that yeah. jean jean otiz anasema hii kumanga na mike mkononi ni challenging kwa sike buda unasema unge kwa meji achi hapa ingine ah, hizi inge kwa ina na kuisha <laughs> siki majua <laughs> so mike inakutatiza kidogo mm. so uh, unafikiria ile kikosi yetu ile ilienda afcon na, na i know it's, it's 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 a tricky question i'm not supposed to ask you Uh, but basically unajua kuna vile pia si ukaaga mtani tunapiga gumzo unaona ah yenyewe hapa bana hapa mimi ningepiga unaonaje hiyo kikosi unafikiria ungei would you have walked in straight to the first team hiyo team ilienda afcon because pia wewe ni mtu unajitambua mimi yeah, of course i do so, believe in myself but mm. unajua pia the players who are there also did an amazing job you know kila mtu ana hiyo time time ya uh, I deserve kwa hapo everybody was there I deserve kwa hapo so mimi mm. naweza sema tu ni coach hii tuna mimi na return to the fingers to the coach maybe coach ana his style of play ana mm. ana feel maybe mm. he don't suit his style of play or, or his philosophy yeah. you know mm. so and me at that time don't kwa tu nisha mm. uh, nilikuwa nime just come back from Sweden after being out for like six months so yeah. me on my side I did understand because mm. uh, I hadn't uh, been playing active football at that time so mm. let's understand maybe Kim had a different opinion on that Kim yeah. your team ungeingia hapo ungepiga sio well wewe sema kuingia mm. as in kama coach angekupatia chance why not mm. unajua inapigika tu so mm. ni vile tu Yuji anasema mm. a style of play na kulingana na plan ya coach mm. ina, 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 ina change a lot of things unajua mm. kuna coach labda ange kuna coach ange kwa hapa angeona you deserve to be there ama mm. anaona ange kutumia mm. unaona so if you get uh, the opportunity ama you get the call up mm. and uh, you get such an opportunity why not unajua unacheza so kwangu ningesema tu mm. wachezaji wote wenye alienda i think uh, coach aliona kitu mm. na aliona uh, mali anaza mtumia mm. so kwangu mm. uh, 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 big thumbs up kwa which is a general leader mm. though the performance was not that good but uh, we, we start from somewhere we start from somewhere yeah. kuna mtu anaitwa Hassan Medi anasema uliza Kim kwani kuliendaje Sekafa tuna lose mpaka na Eritrea buda uh, na ulikuwa kwa kikosi 
Ah well sasa nilikuwa niko injured. Sasa individual performance. Ah sasa nilikuwa niko injured. Au kucheza hiyo game. Sikucheza hiyo game. Eh ndio hiyo game by the way ndio niliumia kama tuko 1-1. Uliumia game Eritrea. Ya ya Eritrea. Mm. Eritrea. Eh yeah, this is the same game yenye tulifungwa. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kitu, kini kitoka ilikuwa 1-1 already. Mm. Yeah so I nilipula hamstring so nikatoka unfortunately. Mm. Uh, kafanyika so this is football you have to pick up and Cause kuna watu mpaka walikuwa na kuna watu mpaka walileta allegations za match fixing na yani ha, watu watu hawakuamini retreat za tupiga ba. Hapana na game plan. Game plan yetu ilikuwa okay eh? mm. But sometimes mm. usisahau ukienda vita pia wewe mtu anakupigana naye pia anakuwa na game plan. Pia amejipanga. So I think hiyo uh, hiyo time game plan yao ilikuwa ilikuwa ina, ina, ina ilisuta ama tuseme iliingiana bila kuwa nataka. Mm. Unfortunately we lost to them and uh, yeah it was a big blow but Mm. It's football we have to match on so mm. uh, we, we look forward to meet with them again sometime in the future. Uchiwe ida anasema kara moja Bram confirm pilipili imewekwa kwa umbali. Buda kuna ka upilo. Hakuna hakuna upilo. Tiagas Tiagas. Butras Butras eh na hii jina imenikumbusha ule Agao Batrobas. Oh, Butras Casillas Ocheng anasema jina yangu iskose Bram. Jina yako haijakosa. Ward Mary anasema hebu niulizie hiyo swali swali gani? Uliza tena. Uh, Mose Mose Cooks anasema Bram peleka show break watu wa kule kwanza Z tunakula tukiendelea <laughs> Yujo hey. unaweza unaweza sema unaweza sema nini because show imebakisha dakika kiasi mm. tuwe na tukiwind up what do you think we need to do as a Kenyan uh, footballers in terms of uh, fixing the game because uh, uh, basically mimi waga niko na approach different ya ball approach yangu si approach ya kutafuta usaidizi kwa mtu. Mm. Unless yenyewe imefika mali nimekuama kabisa. So approach yangu inakuwa gani kwanza nitafute solutions within alafu niende nje. Mm. So unafikiria nini tunaza do as both players. as ex players as players or even the administration what do we need to do kurudisha ball yetu pale inafaa ku make my players watambulike vile inafaa ama kuko on the same levels not same levels but just maybe kidogo kama Europe kuzwe ni mtupio umecheza nje. Mm. Uh, anza kwanza na kusema as a player mm. invest invest on yourself. Mm. Invest of your, on yourself. Mm. Juu Okay, sometimes unaweza pata financially uko poor but uh, sema, it's important mm. to invest on yourself. Na maanisha nini? Hizi mm. kuja gym uh, nutrition vile mm. vitu una dish. You know, mm. you believe kwanza it starts with you as an individual. Unaona? How do you carry yourself out there? Mm. So that's more good carry kama brand. And then na believe tunaweza come all together, mm. ex players, current players. Yeah. To sit down na to 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 to, to say me hey, isn't of it too? Tunataka ku implement yeah. ku one change kwa football. Mm. Kama vile tu kama sema we can, we, you have to start from somewhere. Yeah. Know, you yeah. have to start out from somewhere. And True. it's high time kama kama si players tunataka ku feel tuna tuna respect you out there let mm. us also speak out unajua mm. players wengi pia waogopa hiyo kwa size eh waogopa eh nikisema hivi team yangu ita itanikata ama yeah. unajua mm. but pia na understand because mm. at the end of the day unaweza pata okay unaweza ambi uta, utakatwa na you don't na window jafungua something like that mm. but as a whole whatever football whatever the whole football fraternity mm. i believe tunaweza Please sit down na uh, to have these discussions to to on where the gray areas ziko mm. na to to, to 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 bring change kwa Kenyan football yeah Kim Kim uh, well kwangu ningesema because Kenya at yuko ile level ya kuna cha talent from the a young age eh? mm. Uh, ukiangalia vizuri unaanga once mtu amehit ama mtu ame pick on a certain tournament mm. ama tukija na mchukuliwa kwa timu huko ame hit mm. then that's where we come in na mchezaji anachukuliwa anasemekana huyu mchezaji ni wetu mm. tumem train but basically huyu mchezaji si atametrainiwa sana yeah amepita tu kwa academy huko mtaani so kwangu nadhani credit mob kwanza inafaa kwenda kwa wale makochi wa mtaani mm-hmm. unajua wale wa ah, mashinani eh yeah, ah, wenye wana, wana, wana strive bila do bila kitu yote lakini mm. day in day out uko pale wewe mchezaji mm. mchezaji ana come up pole pole unajua bila facility bila kitu yote yeah. but huyu mchezaji ana come ana come up kwa eh, kwa anakuwa top unajua mm. kwa Kenyan football mm. so and uh, another thing like to you jina mm. 
you, you need you need to believe in yourself you need to invest in yourself mm unajua mm. lazima ujitambue lazima you know that what i offer on and off the pitch eh, it's worth it hata kwa ile team yote itakuja ku kuni approach unajua mm. kuna yeah. team ikuja ku approach najua huyu kama sitakuja kama nimeambia 200 hata atanisikiza yeah unajua mm. but unapata kuna mchezaji tu wa team ki offer tu ikitokea it doesn't care about the contract inasema nini unajua asomi contract yake mm. because we are, we are we are not professional ile kitu kingesema born in Kenya so mm. we start from somewhere where by you invest by yourself mm. and then to fikia mahali ile tulete ndani ma professional wa ku advise pia wachezaji yeah because unapata mchezaji ako na talent but ameenda kwa team amesign for five years without his knowledge mm. maybe ndio ana safa mali yako maybe family anaishi labda ghetto unaona mm. mm. but if i kwa hivyo mm. i fight kwa ati tunachukua advantage na wachezaji kweli unajua yeah sign mchezaji five years but hiyo five years huyo mchezaji akitoka hapo mm. ama team ikikuja calling huyo mchezaji anaona enyewe if Three years me kwa hii team mm. nime develop unajua mm. financially at least niko stable unajua mm. but imagine ume, ume sign wa 5 years team imekuwa approach unataka kutoka team imekuwa maana wewe uko stressed performance haikuji mm. uko bench mm. na team itaki bado kukurilize true so unapata a lot of talents ziko but wamekuwa man kama uko kwa kakun fulani hivi yani huyu mchezaji ajui atajitoa mm. ana mtu anaweza msaidia mm and team yezi msaidia mm. best zake pia yezi msaidia cause we're in the same situation yeah so kwangu i think tuko na tuko na long way sana ya ku ya ku develop ball ya Kenya mm. unajua mm. eh, management wise infrastructure unajua mm. so uh, we just need to sit down unajua mm. it's time that fkf ikam pamoja na FK, na, na kpl mm. na kf wa tuweke watu reasonable hapo unajua watu wanataka change watu wanataka watu wa move forward mm. ndio tutapata change otherwise kama mm. tutaka tutaka watu na personal nini zao mtu anaingia hapo na personal uh, ambition zake mm. then tutarudi tutakuwa tu in, a, in, a, in the same circle mm. yeah na hakuna matutaenda talking of uh, of of, of uh, administration kuna swali ilikuwa imeulizwa hapa na jamaa fulani imenipotelea but nilikuwa nayo kwa kichwa but kuna Hassan Medi pia anasema ati tunacheza na food sana nao vile wako ubao but ina noma so um, kuna kuna hiyo swali ya administration kuna mtu ameniuliza swali hapa jina yake amenipotea kidogo anasema what do you have to say about the current football administration in terms of the federation maybe ministry i don't know but generally fed, uh, bolietu management wise what do you have to say about it are you confident enough with the current office or not if you are what are your reasons if you're not what are your reasons uh i can say from my own perspective yeah? mm. um you can you can be perfect so the things that i've done which i can applaud them mm. and the things that i've done I'm, i wouldn't agree with mm. um as a sama on a start on a positive side yeah? mm. um kama team imeza make it to the afcon mm. that's the federation should be given credit for that yeah but we made to afcon at the expense of a team that was disqualified yes but it was out of our control mm. you true. still have to give them credit true true, true. Yeah. Mm. on the uh, on the negative side there have been so many walkovers mm. and 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 uh, and uh, i believe this top top chairman in every club ama club chairman too a killer club wana fa kupatane cuz na mm. federation we mm. have to sit down cuz me kwa honest na ebram mm. mambo za okover the last time sijinil skia okover ile kwa hata siku hizi tuna za mtaa kuna anga kuna anga okover unapata mm. mm. so wamekuwa na that but is it a federation problem ama it's a club problem ama ile story ya club licensing ingetusaidia uh cuz because the, the way you you you're seeing yeah. it it's like the federation's problem that they are walkovers mm -hmm. in the clubs yeah cuz naweza sema hivi why mm. kabla 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 league yanze mm. i believe kuna ngalizi financial or whatever kila mm. club wana wanafaulizwa okay mm. this season ndio hii mm. how do you plan how are you guys gonna 
runs is una your financial stability yeah. i guess you know mm. you, mm. you can't just you see talk here to pale na my team na sema okay nataka ku team participate kwa league mm. and i don't have the financial stability hakuna mna structure mm. yeah so easy vitu zinapa put in place mm. uh, kama iwezi federation ya hey, you can't participate kwa uh, the, the, the kwa league cuz amna yeah. um, do ya kulipa mm. players amna nini such stuff so mm. That's what I have to say. One, 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 they have their good side and also their bad, their side. bad side. Yeah. Come do. Well, uh, <laughs> this situation is tricky, you know, because mm. you've missed me too. Mimi kwangu, mm. always there is a positive kwa kila kitu, you know. Mm. Na positive kubwa ni ati tuli manage, you know. Kama national team at least kwenda Afcon for after a very such a long time, you know. Mm. Na yule kwa positive, mm. but again tukuja kwa positive kwa kwa negatives ni ile tunakuwa nasema if local football haitakuwa na structure poa kabisa hata hiyo afcon itakuwa ngumu bado mm. unajua mm. as much as tuko na professionals ama wanacheza outside there mm. but our professionals pia they need a pillar yeah because unapata kuna position moja ama mbili ama tatu mm. atuna professional mm. you have a local player yeah na kama hiyo local player ana competition mm. ama ile ile league anacheza mm. sio competitive enough mm. akienda kipatana na wale watu wako huko Europe hizo timu zingine wale wanaipiga yeah, vizuri what, what will happen mm. unapata labda much much fitness level tunaona tuko sawa but tukitoka hapo ukaenda kutana na timu nyingine unaona you are so unfit yeah. unajua ni kwa sababu professionalism mm. na hiyo club licensing eh hiyo mm. ndio mimi ningesema the major and doing na vile ball ya Kenya sasa inaraniwa mm. cuz hizi kuwa ati team kama sita ama nane mm. zinakosa do at the same time yeah ina maanisha ni inamaanisha the yo yo club licensing uh, whatever rule mm. haifuatwi mm. 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 cuz kama ingekuwa na fuat at least ingekuwa labda team moja ama team mbili yeah but team nane team tisa mm. then what are you doing in football kama kama tu hata financial aspect ya hiyo mwaka mzima tunajua wachezaji league ita, ita run smooth ile wachezaji watalipwa mm. inafika tu katikati wokova Mm. mara ya mwisho ulisikia wokova eastern central africa kwa timu inacheza top level ni lini yani hata sijui kama nishaisikia ngumu mm. unajua mm. but sasa tumefika a point where by mpaka ti kuna wokova mm. kenyan premier league i make sense kama kenyan premier league kuna wokova hizi mm. league za kitchen zita zita zitakufa zita basi hazita yeah. zitacheza zita zitafifia zita yeah we need mm. to come up with a structure where by hii nonsense ya ati team ilipwe hiyo mm. kwanza hiyo kitu mimi inanikasirisha sana mm. eh unajua no, okay so um ni, nataka tu ni nisome nataka sijui ni kupatia yujo unisome hizi majina Uh, 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 zoom. <laughs> zoom. So, zoom nataka niko, niko na some of the people wale nilikuwa nime nominate mm -hmm. for the merchandise za, za show mm -hmm. nimeshapia na credo credo mbili za sotano so watu pia wajipange kwa kwa bundles unajua pia kupata watu pia ki stream stream show yeah. ni noma maze watu kuna watu wana wifi kuna watu labda wako kwa on the road So sasa zingine mimi facilitate ile ile pia kujipanga tu pia una yeah, get eh? yeah. because if you're getting something from the show you have to also give back something yeah. to to it yeah. so kuna watu hapa utawasoma unajua mimi nikisoma naweza jiingiza kwa noma so kuna watu wameshinda ma merchandise hapo na kuwa na na coordinate nao vile wata collect merchandise zao wale wako Nairobi watakuja kuchukua tao wale wako Maocha watatuambia vile vilezo wa macha ndazi tafikia because uh, I've, i've received a lot of support from from so many people na nikianza kuwataja mazeni wengi so many people support the show so many people share the flyers hawajai kosa show una get mm. so niliona ni nini ile naweza wapatia tu ile just as a token of appreciation so niko na fadhali niwatengeze matisho za show so you read their names okay so number one ni Ferrari Min Bentley mm -hmm. uh, Cynthia Lisa Ha? Ferrari Min Bentley. Eh, amechanganya sana. Min BMW. Cynthia Alicia. Kiari Mbugwa. Clinton Lusuli. Ochiweida. Raima Jaka. Na Shipae na Azizo. Azizo. 
Sawa. So mesikia mesikia hizo majina um, kama jina yako imetajwa hapo hizi majina bado ndazipin kwa kwa page ya mine baadaye uh, if if you're watching the show or if if you didn't make it to watch the show today because of other commitments I'll pin the names of the people who've been uh, uh, are lucky to, to to get the merchandise na ni mob merchandise ni mob so in round 1 kutakuwa na round 2 kutakuwa na round 3 so kama uja get usi usikufero bado kuna vitu mob sana zile niko nazo zile za give away if you've not been lucky to get this time definitely uh, there's another time that uh, I'll, I'll nominate other people and you'll definitely be in the nomination so um <laughs> Nini ndio unacheka? Ngori muda. Si mimi nimesema hizo majina Muhande Kim. Eh Savi Ejad. Saluda anasema corruption tupu bwana. Hakuna corruption scene watu watunaga corruption. Parting shot as we wind up. Parting shot. Captain, tuanze na Yujua bado anapiga kambese. Mimi mnaongea sana na food kwa hapa. Tuanze na Kim. Parting shot. Well, uh, kwangu I think hii ni show ya football na ningeanza na na ku call out on Kefu, unajua? Uh, I think what they are doing is not good. Hiyo ndio kinaweza sema. Unajua? Just lay down. Cuz uh, yezi kwa wachezaji wana as in watu wako na contract, unajua? Mm. Na watu wameenda miezi 4, miezi 5. That's mm. breach of contract already. Na FIFA rules hii nafikiri zinasema if you go 2 months without pay, then I think you are free to leave. Unajua? Mm. So wachezaji wanaumia huku nje unajua na hakuna press briefing yote tumeona kutoka kwa Kefwa wanasema they are doing this ama that unajua ama FKF hakuna unajua cause sasa hii imefika mahali imekaa ni kama clubs ni kama tuli kwa team za mtaa mm. isipokuwa few clubs unajua kama Tasca bandari. bandari wazito eh, nani mwingine KCB. Eh, KCB unajua Eh yeah, big up to kwa hizo kwa club na management zao unajua cause mm. ebu imagine only oh, like four teams peke yake ndio zinapata monthly salary and from from the time uh, the pandemic ilianza unajua mm. though wengine pia kuna teams zingine zinapata though kidogo kidogo but i fight kwa hivyo mm. okay that hapa tz hakuna team ishaiko sadu unaona mm. mm. kumaanisha federation yao na teams zimejipanga kweli unajua mm. but ikifika mahali mpaka inafika mahali wachezaji wanasaulika mm. Sasa hata I think kuna wachezaji sidhani kama kuna mchezaji kuna labda kuna wachezaji hata wa training mm. ama unapata kuna wachezaji wa kitrain wana train kama group mm. which is not advisable sasa hii mm. unajua cause ya situation vile iko mm. so mimi ningesema tu tunafaa to change vitu tunafaa ku change si tunafaa to change vitu tunafaa ku change mm. na si kama makapi tumeanzisha initiative ya wachezaji wote mm -hmm. unajua mm. representative wa ma club mm. so ligi kitaka kuanza ama sele ligi ita resume training i think uh, we're going to step up na we're going to try and uh, meet up with kefwa mm. kama wachezaji mm. unajua we need to know what's going on unajua uh, our house lazima iko in order kabisa house yetu iko in order then tunaenda fkf ama tunaenda kpl tuambie okay this is this is what we have done true and this is what we want kama wachezaji kweli kweli yeah. we are not demanding but mm. this is what mm. football yeah. wants yeah. 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 Mm. so kutoke hapo mm. tuta move forward mm. but if you continue with the same situation that uh, league it resume mm. na kila kitu you go back to normal then i think uh, we have no business in football cause mm. tuta rutuko the same situation mm. na hii covid pia metuonisha mambo mob sana mm. that beside football mm. at least we should be doing something kweli on the side Unajua? True. At least hata kama ni kibanda yako, tafuta kibanda hata vya watu fanye kitu cause wachezaji sio wamekuwa neglected. Mm. Not in a bad way but team they are not able to sustain. Yeah. Wachezaji unajua. Mm. Adha tu pataki pay cut. Mm. But hata hiyo pay cut hakuna. Hakuna. Yeah. Unaona so uh, I think we need to refocus na tuchukue routine nyingine kama wachezaji. Mimi nazungia kama kama mchezaji. Mm. We need to come up kama wachezaji na to form tukue na unity. Mm. Na nikuwa naambia yujo, saa hii taska unalipua. Ukitoka taska ukenda timi ingine. Enye hiku ya ilipi. Mm. Uta, uta come up. Always survive. Always survive. Mm. So, na the response imekuwa poa kwa makapi wote. Unajua kwa club representative. Whereby, regardless na situation yenyu kama mnalipua ma mlipui. Mm. It should be one thing. Because mm. next time mujibu ulta kupeleka wapi. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, 
mimi ningesema tu jamaa strong kwa wachezaji na things will get better things will get better definitely yep Yujo mimi naweza naweza hadithi yake yote na shamaliza kima me sum it up mimi naweza sema tu yeah. let's get our act together mm. it's like them kima me I mean I mentioned kila, kila kitu, kitu. Ame, yeah Kweli. so let's just get our act together na the other thing na Zambia kila mtu a stay safe corona corona is real man lazima tu stay safe mm. tuchukue measurements tu mambo tuchukue mm. then tu patane kwa grau tupata na grau tupige watu kiatu kuna mtu anaitwa Eric G Mwangi anasema kiarie mbugu anakuaga na kismat sana but pia you deserve it huyu jamaa anaitwa Tosh mm. Tosh ni jamaa fulani karau mm. ako deployed eh, embu place fulani anaitwa mm. Kiritiri mm. but ni jamaa pia wa Kiricho siwi kisiu kisubu ni mkora anajua lugha <laughs> kaa zote maze huyu jamaa anakuaga noma mm. anajitaga walking billboard So ukiona wenzake pia wale walikuwa kwa kinyanganyiro wamesema ana deserve yenyewe kweli hata mimi naona ana deserve. Yeah. Eh, and then eh, Hassan Media anasema hiyo list hata imenimaliza nguvu lakini haina noma Bram kuna next time. Definitely kuna next time na vile nimesema hao wenye wameshinda saizi next time kukiona kitu beta hawezi kwa kwa kinyanganyiro because wamesha washashinda. Washashinda. So eh, tunaenda hivyo tuki reward ma viewers na ma followers na ma fans as we proceed and we are trying to see how we can make the show better uh, if you have ideas if you have suggestions bring them on nitumie inbox tell me chafua pale kwa wall taitakanjo wasafishe niambie tu position yetu wote ama vipi mambo ikiwa fiti tukitengeza mambo hata watu wanaona hizi show ni watu pia wata benefit in one way or the other utapata yeah. kuna mtu labda anauza majazi tao but he use the majazi because anauza jazi ya nini yeah, Unageta kuna interest kwa game. Unaona mtu kama wewe sasa hizi tuseme for example mini fan wa Arsenal. Season ikianza hivi nataka kujua ni jezi gani tunatumia next season. So already mimi niko na interest kwa club. Unajapata season ticket. Unageta. Nisha <laughs> unaona. So yeah. pia sisi hata ama fan. Game iki kilainika, game iki wafiti, au pia watakuwa na interest, wataanza yeah. kubaima vitu, wataanza kubaima merchandise. Nyinyi watu mnauza ma fitness uh, equipment. Yeah. Unageta. Kuna hiyo interest. Nataka ma fans arudi study. Ex- yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, for one minute. Uh, the believe, absence of oh, fans in the stadium. It pl- is it one of the areas that say uh, to say tu kweli hata ukiona hizi games zinachezwa Europe. Mm. Unaona bila atmosphere fans it's not the same. Football is not the same. Hakuna hiyo tempo, atmosphere kama hakuna. Unapata mm. maybe team zingine wanaweza pata maybe they mm. wanacheza defensive sana but mm. if the fans were there fans mm. wengine waezi kubali kitu kama hiyo so unapata so the fans wanafa come kwa feel mm. unaona they push us kufanya even to perform better unaona yeah. so you know as imagine unaingia kwa feel na unataka ku as players ndio tu, it's our job but it's also our job to entertain you guys mm. unaona mm. lazima mkuje kwa feel to entertain mm. kuonesha good football mm. so bila fans Yo yo passion ya ball kidogo naona inapotea kabisa yeah. Yeah. so uh, i think we'll, we'll we'll stop it at uh, at that because uh, unajua spear story ya ball ni kitu tunaweza mpaka asubuhi <laughs> but uh, i think uh, most of you who are watching now mna understand kwa nini tumeka show saizi so peer feedback yenu is very important tell us if you want more uh, on location uh, um, uh, shows tuko hapa kuwa service tuko hapa ku make sure that you have uh, a wonderful experience last wednesday mm. leo ni leo ni sunday. sunday last wednesday nilikuwa na nilikuwa na itlafu kidogo because one of my guests alishindwa ku kupata network kuna most of the time mtumia zoom yeah. so baraza uh, john uh, baraza alikuwa one of the panelists network ilikuwa imemtatiza sana na uh, so many people wala walikuwa metune in walikuwa nataka sana kutoka kwa bari so, uh, so some of these uh, responses ni kwamba lazima pia tuanze kwenda kwa ama guiji unajua pia uh, most of these uh, legends pia wengi wao unapata places zina network wengine hawezi ingia kwa zoom una get so we'll be doing most of the, uh, some of these lives uh, very uh, very soon na tutakuwa tunazifanya sana Just to make the show better. So thank you guys for tuning in to my guests. Thanks. Kim, thanks for having us. Asike huh? tupatane next week. Jim. Jim. Asanteni sana for tuning in. <laughs>